I've got some mail. And it's heavy and fragile, apparently. Alright, let's start with this one. Let's see what's in here first. Some RS is probably capacitors. Could be a trick. Oh, oh, no. It's a trick. There's someone in. These are for Pudget that were coming up. These are some D9 connectors. IDC type. So I'll get one out and show you. I think actually no I won't because it's just patterned up. But. So you go, so it's IDC connector, so you use a ribbon cable, clamp it in, and uh, you've got a IDC D9 connector. Now this is a project I'm working on right now. I'm making a what I'm making? I'm making a riser card for the HP 8647 and 8648. So you can do troubleshooting on the individual cards inside it. There's three cards there which you can lift out. But you can't work on them inside the unit without soldering wires on, which is kind of tedious. I want to clear I've actually fixed the thing now. So I don't actually need the riser card. But I may need one again in the future. So I'm actually getting riser cards made by PCBWay. They're in progress. Go on, they're being... Well, they've been shipped, they've been waiting for them to arrive now. Then I can lift cards out of the chassis and work on them. Um, but yeah, I should have put the other parts of those because we'll have arrived by now, probably. Anyway, it's all coming. It's better than soldering the things, I'll tell you. Alright, let's see what's in this one. Is it? No, here. There. This bit. It doesn't. Ah, come on. Let me in. I want my box open. Come on. Right, here we go. Ah, come on, this folds down. Right. Let me just sort this out. Okay, this is what's arrived. There's not a lot to see in there, they're pretty small. You can just see those little stars in there, those little crosses. See those? There's two of them in there. Those are any 21935, as it says on the package. These are oscillator transistors that are used inside the HP8646, oh sorry, A647, A648. A46. I'm not sure, anyway, but certainly an 8648 and also the 8920 as well, communication tester. So these are using the high frequency VCO. Now, my belief was that one of these um, transistors had failed or could have failed, and as such, I managed to find some new old stock. Apparently, it could be fake, who knows, but they're off eBay, you never quite know what you're going to get. So this actually need these need better protection than this. I might put them back in that box actually, because I'll get bent over. So yeah, it turns out I didn't need them, but now I've got some in case I do. These are hard to find, so I'm glad I found some, and they're quite expensive. But this is annoying now. I don't actually need them. Okay, I'll see what's in here. This took a while to arrive. Yeah, it's a bit slippery. Treadmill lubricating oil. Now I didn't actually buy this for a treadmill. It's silicon oil, so it's, it's actually just a really thin oil. And I thought well, that'd be really good for um, for lubricating plastic parts or things like that, which need to have a thin silicon oil. Because I've got silicon grease before that showed that in a previous mail bag. And um, I thought, well, sometimes you need an oil, a thin, thin oil instead. And that's what this is. I, if you've got a treadmill, it's not for a treadmill. It's for just general lubrication. Don't get the missing side. Not a sort of thing for that. No, get your mind out of gutter. 
get it out. Okay, we're getting bigger. Here's the fourth one. Now normally I'll say, hey, there's links down below for the various things I'm buying, and, well, there might be a link for this. This is something I purchased locally, it's a used router, and this is part of my quest to limit my children's access to the internet. Apparently it's been used, but it looks like it's a really good neck actually. Maybe it is new, I'm not, I'm not sure. Anyway, it looks like it's still like packaged up like from new. Maybe it is alright. I can't remember now. Oh, there's a few I was looking at. So it's like, oh, 7000 Netgear. And it will look something like this. I don't like the whole bloody making it look like fucking spaceships rubbish. Oh, I'd like gum. Anyway, this is the bloody Wi Fi router. I think they're making all these antennas everywhere. It makes it think, oh, it must be more power. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it doesn't work like that. So, <laughs> end rant. Now, this is to try and limit my kids' Wi-Fi. I've got a, the intention is to try and install DDWRT or Tomato on this router in order to control bandwidth limits, um, in order to give like um, data caps and stuff like that for children. That's the plan. Whether it will work, I don't know. I have no idea if it will work or not. Um, we can hope. So that's the plan: is to try and use this to do that. Because right now I'm throttling them. You know, costing them uh, for the amount of data usage you're getting through and trying to keep it under control and hopefully this will do that check by chucking some third party firmware onto it and so here we go, I'm out you can buy these things pre-flashed but um, it's cheaper not to and it's flashing it, it's not that hard ok now for the big one and as we can see we're being supervised by a cat this cat here is called Luna it is my wife's cat and she's like the dumbest animal we're ever going to meet, but she's lovely. She just sort of hangs around the place, like making it look nice. Anyway, moving on. This is going to be messy, there's polystyrene here. It's almost the same colour as the cat. I should just get the cat in there and pick up all the odd bits. The little stray pieces, just drive the cat around. That's okay, I'll, I don't mind. It's protected, that's the main thing. You can kind of see what it is already. All right, let's see if I can do this without making a huge mess. <laughs> Ironically, right. I'll show you in a minute. Oh, this is almost funny. Anyway, the screen's there. Undamaged, thankfully. Well packaged. Carefully done. Yes, getting out of the box is going to be fun. Right. Get the space so I can lift it without dragging the whole box with it. Luna disapproves, I think. Hey. Eh? Alright. So it actually has, down the side here, the protective face for this instrument. Now, obviously I couldn't find a big enough box, but it should really be on there to protect the face, you know? Anyway... <laughs> it's there. If there's anything here, we'll find out in a minute. There we go. She's out. back in before it makes too much of a mess. I'll come back in a minute. And here we go. This is what was in the box. Marconi 2955. So this is quite an old one. This is, uh, I think it was like 1988 or something this particular one was made. According to the manual for it. Which uh, lists this serial number range as being in 1988. Between, was it June, July, 1988? It's a lot, I can't remember now. It did actually specify the months as well. So, it seems to have survived the trip. You can hear some rattling inside, not like loose things, but vibration really. Hopefully it's nothing, it's probably just 
things moving around inside panels and stuff. So we'll power it up. It was shown as working when I purchased it. So it hopefully still works now we've got it. I've got the power plugged in. Let's turn the Viriac on the back there. And I'll show you that too, shall I? I've got the hoppy in the back. You see that? Just over there. And we'll see what we get. Can't do nothing. High power switch turns on. Power factor 0.8, that's not bad. 69 watts. Let's see what comes up. Hmm. Okay, I guess something came loose then. Because that's not right. Garbage on the screen. Won't be testing it today.